Hi, everyone. I am so excited to introduce you to Janet Hart, who is an incredible woman we've been working with, gosh, for four months now. And um, Janet, I'm just so excited to have you here because we really have gotten to know you so well through the journey of like, what is it that's next for you, really identifying and understanding how you want to be fulfilled and on track in your life. And so I'd love if you could just share with everybody um, what it was like for you when you started, like, what was the reason you actually signed up for coaching? Yeah, sure. So um, I think this is something that I have needed for some time and didn't realize that I needed it. I think it took me a while to realize that this was not an answer that was going to come to me on my own and it would be helpful to work with someone to help, you know, kind of draw that out. Um, I have been, you know, in my career, always having difficult you know, conversations with my managers and also kind of like this missing weird feeling for myself. Like, what do you want to do next? Like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I never had the answer. And, um, you know, setting like goals through the lens of like, this is my job and my career was easy, right? It's like, I know what my roadmaps look like. I know how to do those things, but I always just felt like super dissatisfied by that. It was like, this is this enough or is this right? And um, I kind of thought the answers would come to me, uh, like, and was always very jealous of people, you know, who knew what they wanted to do and just like had these like cool and amazing careers. And finally I was, you know, had a friend that was also working with you. And I was like, well, what are you doing? Because I was noticing that she was having like super happy, had all this free time, amazing results. And, um, I was like, I, I think that's what I need to do. I, I definitely, you know, need tools or, you know, conversation and to, to be able to like get on this sort of different path. So. Yeah. Awesome. Janet. It's awesome. So what did you find, I guess, could you share with everyone like your first earliest result? What did you notice right away? Um, I think some of the first conversations that we had were around, like helped me understand that I had developed over time, like some incorrect beliefs about what it meant to work like work is not fun and, has, and you know it is like you do it until you can retire and everybody wants that um and and also like one around creativity which you know through our discussions has become super clear how important that is to me um in my life and like as something that I want to be doing you know professionally more too so I think um yeah just to kind of an awareness and bringing, you know, to some early thoughts or incorrect ways of thinking about things that I had incorrect for me, you know, um, and um, I think like, as we've been reflecting on it, it's like, I definitely in my career was building a ladder, you know, to get somewhere and to like move up, but maybe that ladder was going to the wrong place. <laughs> so great, but not great. Well, you've been in this corporate career for a long time, a couple of different companies, and really what you got to was some cool insights around what do you actually want to do next? And I'm wondering if you would share with everybody what you saw. Yeah, I mean, I think like, um, it goes back to the, the creativity aspect about it. And like, as you know, we were discussing, it's like, well, when do you, you know, kind of like feel light and what does it mean like to really be, you know, true to yourself and, um, I remember telling you that it's like, if I won the lottery, like, this is what I would do. And you're like, well, that's exactly like, that's exactly the thing like we should be working towards. And I kind of always thought like, no, people don't really have serious goals like this. And for me, my secret goal is, you know, I really like luxury handbags and like, I appreciate them and I find them very beautiful and like pieces of art. And, um, I would love to like one day, like have kind of a, a curated, secondhand vintage shop that just specializes in a couple of brands and like there you know there's lots to figure out like I think part of my brain is like this is not a great idea for all these reasons but the fun part of my brain it's like let's work on this and figure this out and I think that's part of what has been beneficial to me about this relationship is that I get to I have given myself permission to be like yeah nurture that you know work on that because Maybe there's a lot of reasons it won't succeed, but like you won't know until you think about it and work well, on it. I still get chills when you talk about it. 
because it's such a, <laughs> it, it really is. It's like, it's like, woo. well, I've never had a client who's had that dream before. And yeah. it's, it's, I get the chills because it's so particular to you. And I think that's, what's really yeah. amazing about it. And actually the most powerful thing is because each person has their own journey and their own things that they're here to do. And for you, like that's the next stage. And we don't know whatever it's going to be forever, but that's just clearly yeah. what is time for you to start working toward. But I love talking about it with my friends. Like, that's the other thing. I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this. And they're like, that's a great idea. Like, I totally want to be part of that. You know what I mean? It's like, um, and it was kind of fun to like talk with another one of my friends. She's like, you know, how's career coaching going? I need to like work on my own goals. And I'm like, well, I have goals now, like, which I didn't before. I have like the one year, five year and 10 year horizon on career, personal and health. And like, she was like, well, what are your goals? Like, you're going to get promoted on whatever timeline. I'm like, no, my goals have nothing to do with this job and this company now. And that's a huge mental, like, mind shift. Um, she was like, I don't get that. I'm like, yeah, it's because, like, now I'm going to do something, like, fun, you know? Totally. I still like my job. That's the other thing I do. Like, I wouldn't be doing something I didn't like. But this, I now just feel more connected to my purpose which is perfect, Janet, right? And we're just like, there's just more for Janet to do than spend the rest of your life at your job. Yes, exactly. Which I was like, <laughs> yeah. And the other thing too, like one of the formative things I think I got from our discussions is that I was thinking about, you know, when can I take a leave of absence or, you know, like if I need to like really focus on this and make this a priority, like there's no way that I can do this while I'm working. and um. I think like just by meeting with you every week and going through all of these exercises, like I've definitely been able to shift, you know, and do this while working and still doing a great job at work. So I think that was really helpful because I was getting to the point where I was like, just going to take a sabbatical. I'm just going to rest. I'm going to let it come to me. And maybe that's the reason I haven't figured it out is because I've just been working. And I don't, I don't think I would have figured it out on my own. Just, you know on a leave. So. Yeah. Well, I love that. Cause I think that's really the ideal thing. Cause I, while it's lovely to take retreats and sabbaticals it, and it's possible to figure out everything that you already know in the moment of your life. And I think that's actually cooler in certain ways. Cause then you can spend that time or use that time in a different way, like a way that is forwarding the pathway you really want to be on in a cool way. So I love that you said yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. So what would you, if someone asked you about working with me, what would you, what would you share with them? Um, I would definitely suggest that they try it. Like, I mean, there's no reason why they couldn't call you and like have that kind of like frank discovery conversation like we had. Um, I have already recommended it to some people that I know. And and, I mean, I think it's like, um, if one of the discussions that I had with a friend of mine during this process where, you know, you asked me to like go interview people, um, she was like, just what a really like nice gift to yourself you know, and I think that's what I would say is that it is a gift. And like, um, I just can't think of a better place to invest, like the time, you know, and I think that you will get out of it what, like, if you go into it, like just being open and looking for, you know, new ways of thinking of things, like you'll, you'll get the most results. Well, I'm so grateful for you, Janet, because we really didn't know each other when we started and you dove right in, oh. which I love. I love a go-getter. And so it was and so fun. And then the richness of what you unpacked around what you wanted with your career and then a lot of how you want to balance things with your family and really creating all of that future together has been really powerful. So it's been so fun yeah. to see your shifts and your growth. And I'm just so excited. I know this is just the beginning, really, of us continuing this relationship. I think so, always, too. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah, and it's I, so fun to complete like the four months officially that we've had together this way. It's so nice. No, I, I definitely, I agree. Like, I feel like I've got a good foundation and I do, there's more like, you know, work and I can't wait to like continue making progress on these goals and then reset them. So, um, it's just been, it's been really awesome. I don't know what like great words to use to describe it, but I think it is, it's been like the best thing I've done for myself. So Thank you. I'm so grateful to you, Janet. Thank you for trusting me. And it's been so awesome. Yeah, of course.